good cook. You're Italian? No, I'm from Argentina. Argentina, okay. <laughs> I can speak a bit of Italian because I live okay. here, but no, I'm Argentina. Uh, but I wanted to tell you that I watched a few of your videos. Okay. I found them really interesting. So okay. Now I'm visiting London and I saw you, so okay, I, I will try to... So, are you religious yourself? Do you believe in a creator? Believe in a higher power? Believe in something out there? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. And I wanted to ask you... Ah. How do you conceal or how do you see... How do you allow in your beliefs as a Muslim that there is a good God that allows evil to be? Let me give you the mic because your your voice is my voice is much much louder than you. <laughs> you can put it, you can pin it anywhere in your clothes if you like. Yes. So how do I allow? Because I didn't hear the question. I apologize. My question is, how do you see? God allowing for evil to be present in this world. Okay. Okay. So, so, the, so the I, common, I, I yeah. yeah. The common problem of evil is called the problem of evil, right? Mm -hmm. It's a very old kind of uh, idea or argument, right? We say there's many ways to look at this. Right? One way, for example, for me to tell you is the evil or the pain that you feel through your life gives you knowledge and experience. Gives you knowledge and experience. Okay, yeah. So if you don't go through th certain trials and tribulations, you will not learn certain things. And I'm sure you. It's yeah. A very yeah, yeah, for sure. No, for, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's one thing that you can you can. Another thing, I'll give you another example, is that us, in order for us to really appreciate paradise, we need to see the opposite of it as well. We need to see. So if God would put me straight away in paradise, yeah, I wouldn't really appreciate what paradise is because paradise is the only thing that I know. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But if I were to... But why, why, why is that a bad thing? Yeah? Why is that a bad thing? Because you wouldn't appreciate it. Which means you wouldn't really be fulfilled by it the same way you would be fulfilled by it if you were to know the it's opposite. So, I would be happier and much more fulfilled if I were to experience the opposite of paradise before entering paradise. So, did you agree? Paradise would be a greater, much greater thing for me. Because I was here and I experienced pain. So, yeah. I know what it is not to be in pain ever. That yeah. is the point is, if you don't have evil, you will not know what good is. But then... I mean, for, for me, I, I can take it in my life, okay, like everyone else, you have up and ups and downs. Yes. But then I see other people who yeah, just lived uh, miserable lives, their entire lives. Let's not put any examples, but yeah, uh, maybe there was... They don't go through suffering? Huh? They don't go through suffering? Is that what you're saying? No, no, they went uh, they, 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 their entire lives suffering. I don't know, you, yeah, there, there are okay. many cases of this. And they didn't see not even one spark in their human lives here in, in this planet. I disagree. I think anyone, I think the, yeah. the happiest people today yeah. are people who has the least, um, the least amount of materialistic needs. I think that today, if you were to go, and I, look, the, in the West today, it is the highest level of depression ever. Highest levels of depression. People are taking pills, yeah. they don't know their own gender, they don't know if you're a man. Yeah, 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 yeah. People, look, people are confused. Go, go to Africa, in a village. Yeah. Look at how, how happy the people are. You will see the, the true level of happiness there. Least amount of materialism, least amount of uh, all technology and this and that. They live an actual life, interaction with human beings, eating from the natural food that Allah has yeah, given them, the yeah. water there, and all of that. They are the happiest people in there. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, in, so in general, you can say that, yes. But then you see, I don't know, let's say, I, I'm probably, for sure, you are very close to the, I don't know, the Palestinian people, yes. or Palestinian you go to people. North Korea, or uh, you say, like, okay, yes. these people, they are, I mean, most do of these, these people become atheists or do they believe more in God? They believe in more in God. Why? Well, if you ask me, yes. is that's because their entire lives were pretty bad. Okay. And the only way for them to, to live with this is to say, okay, there has to be something beyond this. No, because if but, not, it's... No, uh, why don't they say what you're trying to say? Oh, sorry, not what you're trying to say. The argument yeah. is usually being made. Why don't they, they say, okay, there's all this stuff. It's impossible for God to know that I'm a Muslim and then let me suffer this way. Why don't you... This is the more rational. Thing if it, if yeah, it also, 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 yeah. Yeah, so what I'm saying oh. is because they know clearly, stipulated in the Quran, this life is a test. This life is a, say. this life is a, sorry, this life is a, what, what did you a say? Test. Ah, a test, a test, okay. right? So, in order for me to be tested, I have to experience good and bad. Cannot be a test unless you experience both. Like for example, in order for a person to be able to choose between two things, there has to be a choice of good and bad. So the person yeah. that, let's say, murders another person, 
it's a law to stop him from murdering, not allow him to murder at all. Allah cannot test that person without allowing him to do evil to begin with. Yeah. So there has to exist evil in the world if this life is a test. But what people do is they take away the idea of the afterlife. Those people know that because they know in the afterlife they will be recompensated for what is happening. They know if they were to, re to reject God knowing deep down that there has to be a creator, all what's going to happen is they suffer in this life, they'll also suffer in the afterlife. Yeah. So they know there is a creator and they know there will be a compensation for this, whatever happened to them in this life, there will be a compensation in the afterlife. Because they know Islam is the truth, and that's why they become. I mean, I, I think that's what they hope. I mean, for me, because uh, again, it's no, like. No, we'll come, we can prove it, you know? <laughs> that's it. How, how you can we prove can it? We can show the Quran that Islam is the truth, right? So it's not like we just believe that Quran and Islam is the truth. No, there are evidences that shows that Islam and Quran is the truth. Like, uh, you think I'm going to be. You've seen my videos, right? You've seen, you said you've a seen. A few videos, yeah, no, no, right. but yeah. Do you, would you say I'm a rational human being? Yeah, for sure, and that's why I approach, because sure. you are. Yeah. So if I'm a rational human being, do you think I'm going to be doing everything I'm doing with evidences that this is the truth? Just think about it for a second. If I do not have evidences, rational, logical evidences that this is from God, I, I know for certain it is. Would I be standing here in this weather? I don't know. It's no, minus yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. today. Okay, but I'm standing in this weather and then yeah. talking to you about this. Like, I'll be home, man. There's a heat yeah, but okay, what, what do you find as yeah, logical and evidence? Yes. Maybe, I, I think that there is a, a, a small this is important thing. Let's go yeah. there. Let's go to this okay. idea of God and, and evidence, right? Okay. Look, first, let's talk about existence. Okay. Do you believe something can come from nothing? Nothing is the absence of everything. Energy, matter, space, quanta, everything. Yeah, this is a, a, a deep question. Uh, <laughs> it's, I think it's a simple question. Yeah. Look, if there is no energy, matter, space, quanta, yeah, yeah. agency, how if, can if, ever if, anything come arise? Yeah, I agree on that. Yeah, no? let's say. Okay, I agree with you that it. Ha so that means there was always something, because nothing never existed. And that always something is not the universe, because we know the universe has a starting point. Yeah, well, for, for me, going, I mean, trying to picture that in a logical way, I think it's very hard because, oh. I mean, time and space w w were not as they are, as they are now. Time and space as we know them. In, exactly. So it's, yeah. it's very hard for me to, to imagine that since see, they were very different from what I we can, are. I can from, make it easier for you. Yeah. So, by the way, we believe that there is different concepts of time, right? But let's say, let's take a, a basic definition, even though that's not my always definition of time. But let's take a basic definition. Let's say time is the measurement of change. Time, time is the measurement of change. If there is no change, there is no time. Okay, let's let's, let's not, go with that. I'm not sure if that's the, the yeah, exact. No, the, the, yeah, that's, that's a common definition. Because okay. think about it. If nothing ever moves or nothing ever happens, it's time going happen. When we say no. time stop in, yeah. in movies and this and that, what happens is they stop everything. Yeah, there's no more change. Yeah, but you can ha you can have no change somewhere and still pa time passing by. No, no, but there is a change somewhere. Okay, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm saying if there is no, no change at all. Of anything, it is a then the, of yeah. change. It is okay. a measurement of change. Okay. Okay. Even measure with the sun. Right? Okay, yeah. This, this change taking place, right? Okay. Let's that's a common definition, uh, and it is relative. Makes sense. This is also relative, that's another thing. Which means if you're in a different place, you can experience time differently, because the change is different, right? Yeah. Could be different change there, right? If you go to different planets, yeah. Yeah, 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 indeed. Yeah, okay. So we're saying if t time is the measurement of change, we are saying the changes that we can know stops at the beginning of the universe. But there has to be another change before the beginning of the universe for that energy and matter to come into existence to begin with. And that is something we cannot reach because our equation stops yeah, with the singularity. Indeed, I think there we cannot reach or yes. we don't have the tools or the... Maybe, I think one of my arguments is that yeah, maybe we are just limited, our brains, our because of our biology and our brains and our capacity, it's just not possible for us to answer all of these questions. No, 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 I think that's a cop-out some people do. That's my own honesty. That's a, that's a what? Well, it's a, you know what a cop-out is? Cop-out no. is a way to ignore the answer, it's not to give an answer, right? Yeah. I think some people do that. If, yeah, I mean, instead, I, I, I would say to you, using common sense, which you used to say that it's, you cannot have something from nothing, yeah. we are saying the universe, if we know it has a starting point, right? Yeah. And it cannot come from nothing. It, it to come some, by something. Oh, okay. So I, I can't say we cannot know yeah. that we know it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it, it, it has to come by, yes. from something. Okay. If the universe has to come from something, yeah. what are the necessary attributes for that thing to have to bring the universe into existence? What? Think with me, right? First thing we say, that thing is not bound by time and space as we know it, because it created time. Yeah, it has to be above the, the laws so the of physics. We already yeah. agreed it has to be eternal anyway, right? So that thing has to be eternal, right? Eternal, okay. And that thing But if, if there was no time before, what, what is the meaning of eternal? No beginning, no end. Always existing. But there was no time, so how do you define the beginning and end? That's why I'm saying there's no beginning or end. It's always okay. there. 
okay. so that's that's the definition of, of eternal, right? So saying that thing was eternal because we said you cannot ever have nothing, which means there has to be by definition something that's okay. always been there, right? And we use time as a concept to explain this idea that something was always there, right? Right. So eternal has attributes of intelligence. Would you agree? Can we have information, laws in the universe, galaxies, orbits, planets? Without, without well, to be honest, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have the answer to that can question. Can we have information without intelligence ever in any human experience? Information inter without intelligence. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Uh, how do you no, just in our experience in everything that we know within the universe? Can you ever have information without intelligence? How do you find information? <laughs> information is is a, is, a, is a collective group of different inf things that are organized in a specific way. Like your DNA, for example, has a yeah. code. Yeah. The coding has numbers. These numbers are very intricate. But okay, right? a stone has information in it, and it's not intelligent. <laughs> a, a stone. No, no, it's it's the product of intelligence. Just a normal stone. It is a product of intelligence. That's the claim oh, we're making. Oh, okay, this because it's okay. Yes, okay, yes. I see what so you mean. It has these atoms that are organized in a specific way and all of that, mm -hmm. right? If it is restricted, it is restricted in a way, organized in a specific manner. And you cannot organize and restrict things without uh, a will and intention and intelligence as well. Yeah. So it has will, has to have will, has to have intelligence, has to have power and energy. Because everything in the universe has atoms. If you split an atom, you have a nuclear explosion. So much energy and power, what we call power, you cannot even comprehend, right? So something that is eternal, has a will, it, and uh, uh, brings rise to the universe, brings rise to the universe, right? Okay. And it is powerful and intelligent. What do we call that? Yeah, I mean, you can call it God. Okay. Yes, so we agree so far, rationally. Okay, rationally, yeah, yeah, yeah. From a rational perspective, right? From a, sometimes, the, sometimes the problems for some people is not rational, is, is in the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So the hearts that are blind, not the eyes. Allah says that in the Quran, right? Okay. Sometimes it's not, because what I'm giving you now is very rational. I'll say for instance, Indeed. and you I, look I, like a sincere person. That's my judgment of you. So I talk to the people all the time, you know, so I can know who is like this and not, right? So you're a sincere person. So as a sincere person, you know that makes sense, right? Indeed. That, the reasoning that would give. Okay. We are still extremely far from this God and the uh, and the, oh, no, no. the, yeah. the, the all, Muslim all we God. we have eh? is these attributes so far. Right? Okay, yeah. To know more now about prophets and messages and this and that, we need to have a scriptural revelation. That revelation we have to show it's from God, now. right? From the entity that we talk about, right? So why do Muslims say that the Quran is from God? Many reasons. I'll give you an example, right? One example is the Prophet Muhammad He existed 1,400 years ago. At that time, they had certain knowledge, certain information, yeah. right? They had certain view of the world. They have technology. There's no cars. There's no type of telescopes. I yeah. want you to put yourself in that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Prophet Muhammad they could not read or write as well, okay. right? So put yourself in that position. This is Tiffany Arabia. Couldn't read or write. No technology, nothing, right? And then Prophet Muhammad talks about the future, and everything he says happens the way he says it. He says it. Now he's a criteria. The criteria is he makes multiple predictions, tens. Yeah. Uh, they are before the event. The predictions are not self-fulfilling. It doesn't say the book is going to fall and he drops the book, right? And it is clear predictions. Okay. Clear and specific, not just vague information like Nostradamus and this nonsense that you used to say, right? But actually clear thing. Yeah. Okay? Now, with this criteria, can any human being know the future 1,400 years ago and talk about the future even today? I would say depend on the level or specificity uh, yeah, or, sure. of, of these predictions. Specific predictions. Yeah, no, okay, it depends. Tell, tell me this prediction. Yeah, give me a few yeah, examples. Give me a few examples. Yeah. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad said, specifying the Bedouin Arabs. So not all Arabs are Bedouin. Bedouin Arabs are a group of Arabs, right? Bedouins are, do you know what Bedouins are? Bedouins are people who live in the desert with tents and things like that. They don't have buildings and civilizations, right? So the people who live in the deserts are called Bedouins, right? Prophet Muhammad said, you will see the Bedouin barefoot Arabs. Barefoot, they're not wearing shoes and this and you that. You will right? see the Bedouin barefoot. Yeah, you see these Bedouin the, Arabs, they're barefoot, they're yeah. walking. He's just saying they're very primitive. That's what he's saying by barefoot, okay. right? Okay. You will see them competing in building the tallest buildings. Where is the tallest building in the world today? In the Arabs, in Dubai or? Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Khalifa. Do you know 50 years ago, Dubai was a complete desert? Uh, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. How did it change? Oil. Oil. Prophet Muhammad said the earth would puke his treasures. And money, money would become abundant within you, Arabs. Well, to me, that might be a bit general. Again, yeah. And, okay, let me and tell you if, why. if you don't put a, a, a time, a, yeah, a no time problem. limit. I'll tell you why it's not general, but I'll give you time specific ones as well. But I'll tell you why I would. I would because I mean, you can make a, I can make a prediction for the I don't know for the Chinese sure, sure, to be sure, sure. the, no the tallest building, and it, I have I don't know 100,000 years in the future to yes, yes to, to test. No this. problem. I'll tell you the difference as well. Okay. The difference is number one, the Arabs were very primitive civilization. They're not the highest superpower in the world today, like the Chinese, right? Right. It's not, it's not, 
fair comparison, right? Okay. Prophet is talking about very primitive people. Those primitive people were between two major empires, the two ma biggest empires in the world, Roman and Persian empires. And these empires were expanding. Yeah. So you don't even know if tomorrow there will be Arabs anymore or they will be extended to begin with. Right? Yeah. Okay? The Arabs were not known to build tall buildings. What the Arabs used to do is to build, even in the floor to hide from the heat, they used to build in the floor, right? The people who are known with buildings are the Romans and the Persians and these type of things. So if you want to make just a prediction to be easy, yeah, yeah, there was, the was not the easiest of predictions. Let's yeah, say, okay, let's you agree would on say, that. You would say, oh, the Romans and Persians will be good, right? So, and to say the earth would be because treasures, and to say that money would become abundant to the new as well when they were poor nations. Yeah, okay, maybe it was a right? great, too, a crazy yeah, thing. So, so uh, the earth pukes is, was not a treasure. Oil was not a treasure until today, and technology. Okay, but he didn't speak about oil. He spoke no, about. Yeah, uh, Prophet Muhammad said uh, he said things like gold and silver. He said gold and silver and things similar to gold and silver. And the oil today is called the black gold, literally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I'm more very logical. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, good, it's okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, the point is, it is the idea of building up. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? The more predictions I give you, the more you know for a fact he has to be a messenger of God. Because he would not make all of these claims, and all of these possibilities will happen to be correct in this way. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I'm just starting with you giving you the, the beginning, right? Let, let, let me ask you a question. What yes. do you think, or how do you, yeah, what do you think about evolution? What do you think about evolution? So yeah. our perspective of me personally, or as Muslims in general?